What's up everybody? My name is Aaron Ciotti. Everybody calls me Ciotti and today we're reviewing the T-Motor Pacer 2207.5s. These are the 2550 variant uh, in KV. There's also 1750 and 1950. Now that Betaflight 4.2 does um, motor scaling, I would actually recommend everybody get the 2550 KV, and then if you're going to run 5 or 6S, just scale it down. Um, it works absolutely perfect in Betaflight. I've been using that feature for pretty much the whole time that 4.2 has been out, so probably about 6 months or so, um, and it's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, these motors are 37.8 grams, so they are a little bit on the heavier side, but that's pretty standard with 2207 and 2208s. Um, I'm personally used to 2306s, that's my preferred motor size. These kind of blew me away. I've flown a lot of 2207s and a lot of 2208s, um, and I don't know what T-Motor did here, but this is the only 22 series motor um, that sort of reminded me of the 2306s and, and sort of the um, amount of torque and, and uh, instant response that, that I get with those. So other than the weight, um, I really, really like these. And, and for those of you that are used to 2207s and 2208s, you're not even going to notice the weight because these weigh pretty much the same as all of those motors do. Um, it is a steel shaft motor, and it is a short shaft. Um, that's what she said, first of all. Second of all, uh, T-Motor has been uh, shortening their shafts uh, to save a little bit of weight, uh, which is a really good idea. So basically all you need to know is if you're going to run a uh, propeller that has the thicker sort of old school style hub, uh, you're going to have to run a low profile lock nut on this, M5 nut on this, um, in order to engage the nylock part of the nut. Um, if you're going to run one of the newer propellers, uh, like the HQ S3, S4, S5s, or the Gemfan 5143-3s, um, those all have a thinner hub to get the weight down of the propeller, and you can use a regular prop nut with those propellers. Uh, N50H magnets, those are magnets that um, supposedly, according to the specs, handle heat better, um, so that's a good thing. And then N50 rather than N52, which makes this motor a little bit smoother, um, which I really did like. Th this is a very, very smooth running motor. Five inch rigs typically don't have issues with notchy motors, um, but every little bit helps if you're trying to, uh, if you're flying with a GoPro. And I've got some footage here that I'm about to play in a second. I'll talk over a little bit of it, and then I will just shut my big mouth so that you guys can listen to the motors as they scream. Uh, I did leave all the crash footage in so that you guys can see uh, the amount of abuse that I gave these things. So every time I crash, when I come back up into the air, you'll see if there's any difference. And I'll spoil the surprise, there is none. Um, these motors proved to be very, very durable. I was really happy with that. Um, and yeah, I really dug them. So check them out. Here comes some flight footage, and I'll see you guys on my next live stream. Every single Sunday at 3 o'clock and Monday night at 10 o'clock Eastern Time. And then during the week, I stream it pretty much random. Get FPV affiliate link down below. Hit that button. Get yourself some Pacer 2207.5s if you want to fly like this. So here we go, taking off. And uh, we're going to do some quick pitch and roll tests to see how the response is of these motors. Um, great response. As I said, I'm used to 2306s, so I'm used to a lighter motor uh, with a little bit more mechanical torque. But um, I guess it's the, the, the 07 and a half. These motors just have enough uh, have enough stator volume to, to really give me that instant response. Um, so I, I did a, as much of that as I could, just kind of jam the sticks into the plastic to show you guys the um, how quick the response can be. Flying low to the ground, great throttle response. Um, that is the big thing that I really like about 2306s. Um, they take a tiny little bit of latency out of the throttle because they have that extra mechanical torque. Um, and because they're a little bit lighter, uh, and that makes it really easy to fly really close to the ground. Here you go, here's one of the crashes. That was just a grass, grass crash, nothing serious there. Um, but, like I said, left all the crashes in for you. Um, yeah, flying low to the ground, these things were really good. I was pretty shocked by that. That's, like I said, usually the trouble that I have with um, 2207, 7.5, 8 motors. Uh, but these were great. Uh, flying my little tree tunnel here, you guys might recognize this. I think Stinger Swarm put a video out way long ago of this spot. Uh, this is one of my super local spots, about a half mile down the road. So um, I fly here a good amount. As you guys can probably tell, I kind of know where all the scraggle is. Um, this footage is from a while ago. Um, I had had these motors for a little bit. 
Sorry, T-Motor. Um, I've just got a lot going on. There's a pretty decent crash. Um, I was still somewhat upright when that hit, so the arm hit the ground first. Um, but there is a crash coming up here where the motor goes directly into the tree, and that is the crash that did bend the motor bell a little bit, but again, didn't bend it enough um, that it caused any problems. When I came home and spun the motors up in the motors tab of Beta Flight, it was just that that one motor was a little bit more... I mean, the other motors were perfect, and that motor made a little bit of noise, so um, it survived. Playing with a goose here, gotta say hi to your fellow flying friends. Leaving him alone, though, don't want to stress him out too much. So yeah, let me just shut up now and I'll let you guys hear the motors. The tune is a little bit rough. I did not retune for these motors. So this is a 2306 tune. Um, there is a little bit of oscillation there. I should have dialed in a little bit more degain. Look at that flat spin down low on the ground. Um, that's the kind of thing, the, the fact that I did that there without hitting the ground, um, that's a really good sort of indication of sort of the fact that I was able to jive with these motors pretty quickly. That's a pretty technical move. Um, and to not hit the ground is rough. So, uh, yeah, give these motors a listen, and uh, I'll catch you on the next live stream. Almost forgot, these flights were all done on my glide build. Uh, it's about 610 grams all up, uh, running 4S 1300mAh GNB batteries at the time. There you guys go. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm actually going to give this set of five of these away. So you probably know how giveaways work on YouTube by now. Scroll down, drop a comment, say whatever you want in the comment, um, click the like button and subscribe. Do all those things this coming Monday night, 10 o'clock Eastern uh, PM. I will jump into this video, look at the comments and we'll do the randomizer and pick a winner. So do all the things. Here come a couple bloopers of me just not being able to point a camera at myself. Enjoy. What's up, every <sighs> What's this patch of hair on the side of my face? And today, we're gonna, we're gonna drop a motor on the desk. What's up, everybody? My name's Aaron Ciotti, and I don't remember what the next thing I say is. Ah, now I remember. What is this patch of fucking 